Welcome to the Pillow Talking Podcast. It's your boy JT. And Nini. And welcome to the, the only podcast shot in the bed. Shout out to all the new people who have recently, you know, came to the page. Um, probably saw us on Millennial and Married. We have yeah. an amazing partnership with them. And we love their audience. And we hope that yep. you guys love us. So shout out to you guys. If you see our promo videos, some of our stuff we just be throwing out there, you know, to get you know, get the conversation started. Yeah. And, you know, kind of turn trolling. you guys. We're not trolling. I don't, I don't <laughs> say trolling. This is a serious question or a serious topic. It is. But, but yeah, we're not trolling but speaking of trolling mm-hmm. we can kind of get into our first topic of the week because it kind of does tie into the promo that we use because if you guys don't know dominique is very anti pda um she's very what's the word sex sensitive i don't know like she thinks that sex is a bad word a curse word <laughs> you do am i lying no the act <laughs> uh, the act of talking about it in like just freely that's my problem i'm not gonna do that why that, okay and i know why why it's from growing up I, not i don't know if everybody feel like this but it's from growing up in church and constantly hearing that it's a bad thing you forget that there is two different types of it there is the natural god-given sex and then there's um right the other side which is I don't want to say perverted, but just not in the right moment. Sex. Right. Like. So I'm going to introduce this next topic. You need to fix your mic because it's moving every time. Every time you move, the mic is moving. So figure that out. But anyway, if you guys didn't see, the reason I wanted to bring that subject up is because um, the issue, situation with Chandler Moore, who is a gospel, I don't want is he a pastor? No, I think he just seen, yeah. So, I mean, if he's not a pastor, he's well on his way to being some yeah, type of something. minister. But anyway, he recently got married, had a beautiful wedding. Yeah, and very nice. he posted some of the photos from the reception of him and his wife doing, like, you know, just Dancing, taking pictures. photo booths. This yeah. photo, like, Having literally, fun. to me, it's like the, the standard prototype of what photo booth pictures look like right you take Being the wild silly. crazy the yeah. silly one the bent over like to me i saw nothing wrong with it because it fit the context of the the absolutely. moment absolutely this is the your your absolutely. wedding date is it, you could turn up on your wedding date. that's what i'm saying like so you if, can't if, tell if, me nothing on my wedding date, so period. anyway if you don't know and it's why we talk about the first topic a lot of people were upset at him because yeah. they felt like it was too and i whatever they worldly or non-christian to have a picture of you and you and your wife new new wife i guess in a twerking position and it wasn't even yeah. a video that's the other thing it wasn't a video of her twerking on it him. was just a picture it's of her backing a, it up it, it's literally a freeze frame of them celebrating their yeah. holy matrimony and let's be i mean and first of all first of all what's gonna happen that's what happens point. when you're when you're married. And my point is this so too. Stop. My point is this too. <laughs> how can you? How do we say this is wrong for two married people to do at their wedding? Like that's my only right. issue. Like if this was just some random, like they're at Walmart or Target mm-hmm. or something, I could be like, okay, time and a place. But to me, that is the time and the place to show yeah. your love for your wife both in a you know uh yep. erotic way uh sensual every single way because yeah it don't matter we, like we it's just celebrating. did the ceremony you know the we, we done with we, it we, we prayed before god yeah. and we got blessed and now we at the reception turning up i feel like that's what traditionally most weddings are Absolutely. you do have the, the the calm the the soul like the the real peaceful and i but guess if, the, the 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 spiritual moment yeah. When you do become one, and then yeah. afterwards you do it's have a party. That party at the reception. It's a reception. So Hello, to me, for people, fun. for me, for people yeah. to be that tight about this man and his Very wife uptight. taking a picture was just That's a foolish. huge red flag. But I think it goes to what you said earlier yeah. that you grow it, up in an environment yeah. yep. where you are so limited. Yeah, like you, you, you yeah. can't even say to where honestly you're not taught about that. You're not taught about nothing sexual, but to avoid it because bad right. things and are going to happen. You, so you're taught. So over that's all and over you're taught. Again. Imagine that. Some, and I'm not saying it's all churches or all. But some. But majority, yeah. especially in our community, yeah, 
It's just like no serious. No, Especially uh, for uh, when you right. when you're a kid and you grow up in church. When you're a kid and now, when you come as an adult, you don't you have your own perception of you know that. So, but when you right. are and luckily, a kid and grow up, luckily it's, for me, you know, my parents were not like like they were really religious, but they also had the the, the wisdom that, yeah, to give to me speak about right. It. So I didn't really have necessarily that right. that testimony that I grew up like you did yeah. where because like I had the the balance right. of both mm-hmm. so and 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 it goes for me it went further than parents because like even at school like I went to a Christian school so like people were saying that at school people right. are saying so that everywhere so like all over you, you went to school and got told yeah Yep. <laughs> you went home. You heard that church. Like I was that, in biology class, like learning how not you should not have. <laughs> and my thing is that abstinence in itself is no, it's nothing wrong with teaching people yeah. to abstain from right. irresponsible uh, decisions. Yeah. Sex. So let's yeah. be real. A lot of times, mm-hmm. if you are having sex, especially as a child or even um, early late teens, yeah, you you putting yourself in situations that could have. Irreversible consequences, whether good or bad. Right. Even moral consequences, right. like mental. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mm-hmm. understand, and I'm, we're not sitting here saying that abstinence That's not okay, should right. be taught. It should. We are saying that abstinence, abstinence should be taught along with proper, our body's natural proper. <laughs> yeah. It, yes. It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like response. A like, body's right. natural response. Right. Like, like for for us to be human. <laughs> yeah. And then to. Literally, yeah. literally be told the stuff that we're feeling, the thoughts that we feel. It's not. It's is natural. And it not is, nat- yeah. No, some of that is natural. Yeah, yeah. Like, now, when it's excessive, it's not right. And we're but not talking. We're, talking we're not about talking just about that. Natural, yes. especially urges. I like somebody. Mm. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. That all right. Mm, mm, I, should, I want to mm, kiss them. Mm, I want to do yes. that again. Right. Like that <laughs> is. The, oh. It's normal. And I think. I think. I think we just have to be better and proactive, especially yeah. with our kids, explaining the types of sex. Like, look. Absolutely. You should, like, we go tell our kids, look, don't be out here having sex early. Yeah. We're not going to sit there and lie to them and say, it's sex is bad, don't feel right. good, blah, 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 right. it's going to hurt. We're not going to sit there and yeah. lie. And be like, no, sex is amazing in the right context. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, I'm, my, right. my parents didn't lie to me and say sex was bad or anything. Right. And he's telling the truth, y'all, because like, when I first met him, he literally told me. Like, what is mom say? <laughs> my parents didn't lie to me. They didn't lie to me about sex. Yeah. We had an honest conversation. They told me, look, when you're ready for that, you're ready for that. But right now, you're not ready for that. And this is why. Mm-hmm. They they didn't make it seem like I was evil or wrong for feeling like I was ready to have sex. Yeah. And that's probably what you went through. And that's probably why now even that you're grown and married, you still have that heel sometimes to jump over like, Man, yeah. I, I just, this don't feel right. Yeah, and like I said, it is a world, universal church issue. Like because so many people that I know feel the same exact way. And then also, whenever you are a teenager and then you're getting older, that what does that make you do? If you yeah. always hear something you is wrong it. and if, you want to do it, what that does, what does that make you do? That makes people, you become sneaky. The most. Like, if they keep saying something over and over again, telling you not to do it, yeah. as you grow older, you're going to want to rebel. Yep. So if you hear all the time, don't have sex, don't have sex, no yep. sex here, no sex there. When you start to get older, you know, start feeling yourself, think you're grown, mm-hmm. you're going to do exactly what they told you not, you couldn't do. Yep. And it, some you don't even be wanting to do that sometimes, but it, you just do it. It's right. just like, oh my God, this is my opportunity. Like... Right, I and, I, and I want to be clear. I really think that was the centric problem with that well, was the centric problem people had with Chandler Moore is because of that mindset. Yeah, that absolutely. We, like because ain't no no other kind no mindset. other person you can't besides people who grew up in, in that way. Yeah, would have something yeah. negative to say. Yeah, and that is just something that we have to going forward branch off and break up. We break from we that. not only have to break off from it, but we also have to reclaim. The, the the image of sex. The, the beauty the of beauty sexual of sexuality cannot, in Christ cannot, and in marriage. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We, especially on our platform, yes. Christian platforms, we have to be Absolutely. okay Absolutely. with talking about sex, yes. discussing it, yep. being better at sex. Yep. We cannot sit here and 
just completely ignore, ignore that part of one yes. of the largest parts <laughs> of yes. of the human existence. Right. And of ma- and that's a big people act like it's not, but it right. is. It's a big part of marriage also. Like right. stop. It really is. <laughs> so if you want to have a, a good marriage, you need to be all around. So like how you how we supposed to have a good marriage? We don't even know I don't even know nothing about sex. He don't know nothing about sex. We just And then I feel like any spot where you're um lacking in that is a sp- a sp- a space for the enemy to come in and yeah, tempt like you. you gotta, it don't matter what it right. is. And so, so I don't know. You know who's not lacking in sex? Who? Nick Cannon. Oh my God, dude. I know. I, I don't. And this is conversation. I'm not understanding what's going this on. This conversation around Nick Cannon, I don't want to talk about him specifically because he's a very unique individual. Yeah. But I do want to address some of the things I saw that kind of didn't sit right. <laughs> Because what when people say stuff like, oh, he can afford it, like he has enough money to do it, uh-uh, I it's, agree. It's, yeah, it, but but I don't it's think it's he has enough money. Nick Cannons to, to separate himself facts. across all these. He got twins. Across all the world. He, got, he just had twins. He got another one. It's like, I, I don't care how much money you got. Unless he got clones, he going to no miss way. moments. He yeah. going to miss moments. Absolutely, man. He going to miss stuff. And to yep. me, that's, what, that's my only issue when people – Yep have a lot of kids with different women all over because right. it's more than just fun. Like, I hate when people do that. And, and I don't want to, oh I don't want to simplify. I, I completely, because what happens like is it. men get, we, we want it both ways. Like we, when somebody got money, oh yeah, they got enough money to take care of all them kids. Yeah. But then it's like, when, when people say, when we like, oh, gender roles have changed now, but then we don't want, you know what I'm saying? Now, mm-hmm. when it's no gender roles, but you can't, have it both ways that's pretty much right. what I'm trying to say yeah and and to be honest um I can't stand that it for me personally like I hated that my dad wasn't there and I don't like it wasn't even about money I don't care I used to tell him that all the time like like my fam, my brother used to think that it was about money but it wasn't I used to tell him all the time like I hate that he don't he's not here he's missing parts of our life and thank god that I had a stepdad right. that could step in shout out to all the stepdads for real because if i didn't i think i would be completely worse than what i <laughs> what i was what i went through it just would have been but my th- and my thing is but my thing is being there matters being there is important and that's my Very only thing important. with the nick cannon situation Very. i i don't care well obviously i don't care it's not my yeah yeah yeah. Thing, but i'm just saying i just don't want the conversation the money is not to be do- to yeah. be minimized to money men support them financially women support them Everything, Everything else. else, absolutely not. Like, <laughs> no. Then, like, we talked about this recently. Like, I don't care how much money you got. Yeah. If you gotta go sit in the hospital with a kid, sit in the waiting room, sit in the doctor's office, that's you. You can't put a price on that. Nope. And like, I we were kind of talking about me and my wife. Nope. We were saying like, we had like a child support conversation, and I was like, I don't even know how I could put a price tag when our daughter was sick. And, you know, I had yeah. to get up in the middle of the night, take her to the ER. Yeah. Uh, stay, go pick up medicine. Find a pharmacy that's 24-7. Go right. there. Switch this. Pay this. Do this. Do that. I don't know how I can put a price tag on that. Right. How do I yep. put a price tag? Because no matter what happens, with, she don't, right. we don't have that bond. Like, I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget. You I never, when, you never experienced when, um, it. When Major had this whole thing, we passing out and stuff. Oh my goodness! Like, yeah, we literally sitting in, we sitting in the drive through. My son literally passes out. Yep. He threw up. He, he had He's a seizure. Basically having a fibro seizure. Yeah. Um, probably looking back, probably was from not. I don't think it was him. I think it was something he ingested, yeah. like one of the medicines. I think because so the moment they got him to throw up, he literally snapped back. Nothing was wrong. Yeah. So I think something something he had because that. Not trying to go on a tangent, but we should have known something was wrong when he just threw up like yeah. a grown person. Like his body yeah. was trying to get something out. Yeah. I don't know if he found something and did it or what, but his yeah. body was going to do whatever it had to do to get it out. Yeah. Shut down, pa- whatever. So, anyway, imagine we sitting in the drive through and boom, your child passing out. Now we got to rush. Rush then, to the nearest clinic, yeah. carry him in. We had get to, on an but like, yeah, ride he was. Over there. I think he was starting to seize too because I had to put my hand in his mouth. But my thing and is, how do how does child support help that? It don't. I mean, that is. How does how does child support help when when they're teething up all night? 
It don't. How does child support help the bond? It don't. It don't. How does child support help emotional support? It don't. It don't. <laughs> like, and that's what a kid needs. And that's emotional why, support. That's why I think the child support <laughs> system in itself is one. I, I think it definitely needs a reform. It has to yeah. be reformed yeah. because one, you got a lot of people in jail behind child support. Oh my god. You gosh, got a lot yeah. of people, men who, women have weaponized child support. Yeah. You got a lot of d- people. That men and it's the other way around. Men who wouldn't do nothing if it wasn't for child right. support. I just don't. I don't know the win in that situation. I'm just saying you cannot minimize raising a kid just with finances. Yeah, absolutely no. Because like, I can't it, even. I can't imagine like JT not being here. He he's just sending money every month. The emotional like I tell when I talked about postpartum like I said that all the time. If he wasn't here physically, I don't know having. Two kids, one a baby and one a big kid, and even whenever I had journey, like right. if he wasn't here, I don't know what I would do because it's like emotionally, mentally f- hard. Like it's mentally hard. Like so, you just give me child support. I don't want that. Like no, right. come get your child. <laughs> that's my, that's been my biggest thing too. Is just like I think, and I I, I think if money is all you got, then. That's an issue because money comes and goes. Yeah. Anybody can get money. Anybody can get money. Anybody yeah. can lose money. You yeah. can lose it just like we. Just I, I don't you get think, it. I think we saw, if 2020 didn't teach us anything, we saw right. millionaires become poor. We saw people become homeless. Yep. So that cannot be all that you have. Right. Like, so I, I much love the Nick Cannon because I think financially and he, They're good. he's a type of parent. He's a type of person, the, one of the few in the world who has the means and the money to possibly make, like, literally be everywhere at once. Like, get here, <laughs> fly him in, do this, yeah. do that. Fly there, go there. Like, he ha- yeah. he can do that. Yeah. And I'm not even, they might all be in the same, I don't even know, they might all be in L.A. or wherever he at. Like, True. He, might, he the kind of person to have all of them living together. That's what I'm saying. Like, he got it. <laughs> it was the, the taking pictures with all the people for me. Yeah. It, <laughs> I was yeah. like, what? So, I, I mean. But, yeah. <laughs> That's just one of those situations that I just don't like. Cause I saw it even with uh Lil Boosie had his like a he had like, I think he got like ten kids. So I could be wrong, but they he got like, a lot. They was like, oh yeah, he he take he got money. He take care of them. Yeah. No, he sends some money. Let's be real. That let's call it what it is. What it is. He, he sends, sends the money. The money and really is the money going to the kids or is it going to the parents? Right. He because who taking care of them? Right. <laughs> so you can't just go walk in the store by yourself. No, if they yeah, young. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it is more it's, to being a parent than more money. More than being a, it's more to being a parent than money, definitely. Um, did you see the whole thing with the COVID nineteen? How like the emails got leaked and all that. You know, if you didn't, nah, I'm not gonna talk uh, about it. What in the world? But basically, <laughs> Doctor Fauci. Basically, Fauci. Basically, now they're kind of low key. The government is kind of low key admitting that. COVID nineteen could have been created in a lab, like which we all. Oh, I did, and I saw which that. we all figured. That's what my aunt was talking about. We all figured <laughs> that it could have been man made. Yeah, yeah, like we, a lot disease, of people are saying but that. But let's be real: a lot of diseases are caused from man Mut- doing research and yeah. get out, they leak out, yeah. an animal get away, a test yep. animal they working on, or they don't dispose of something correctly, then it spreads. So That's why they're human. But <laughs> now, I mean. The fact that we've got all the way here and now there people are saying this now like widespread, you know, I think it's I think it's interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's what she was talking about. Ooh. Remember when I said Oh that? yeah, you told me that, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now crazy. it kinda makes all the people who are saying this is man made and created Yeah look you know, have some validity look, to what they said. Yeah. So like, um like maybe they're not crazy. But I mean that kinda was always in the back of people. It head. always was and that's the thing. That's this I mean, because it could happen. Like it could happen. Science like, has come a live, long way. <laughs> we live in a world where it could happen. happen. Yeah. So Yeah. Right. Yes. Let me ask you this. Um uh, how do you feel about people like all of these like entertainment style like fights and stuff i mean it's kind of you probably don't even what you mean like floyd mayweather versus jay paul oh oh i get like like, yeah entertainment like like, legends giving these youtubers and stuff opportunities to do stuff stuff. that 
other fighters would die to do? I truly feel like it is um, a money thing, of course. Right. But um, also that it is uh, it's new age. Like I, right. I would never agree or think that it was okay back then. Like when we were young, this would this is weird. Like, yep. but seeing the world that we live in now, I think, and I think even from my last president, it's proven that celebrities, yes, are the 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 thing now. Yeah, like and like, it is what it is. Yeah, like they are the new rich. Yes. Even if they're poor, like you don't this have to, happened. This uh, happened. The, the follower. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. The clout. Not the actual followers on Instagram, but I mean like the following, like people who right. love you so much. The people behind you, like whoever yeah. got the people behind you, that's who you're rocking with. Period. Like, but he definitely ushered that in. Trump. Right. A- absolutely. Oh my goodness. So look, let me let's give people their credit. Let me get the claps ready. Kevin Hart, bro. Hey, look. Yes. Kevin uh, Hart. Yes. Movie Fatherhood was a exceptional yes. movie. It, simply because it grabs the concept. Who? What well, we just was talking of about. A lot of, that <laughs> a lot of men, I think, really feel. Yeah. Like, a lot of us really feel like if something would happen to our spouse, girlfriend, <laughs> whatever, baby mama, what would we do <laughs> if we were with the kids by ourselves? And I think that movie kind of showed the ups and downs, the 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 you know, being a a hundred percent you know parent, yeah. like what it being entails. a hundred percent parent that nobody else just because you. parenting is not supposed to be a one person thing. Absolutely. Not. So far, women have almost accepted it as it is. Right. A lot it's of really a lot sad, of women yeah. have accepted parenting as a solo act, and it yeah. really should. It's be. not. So to see a movie where it's the reverse just goes to show you how difficult it would be for a man to do that. Right. Like this dude bringing the his baby to the basketball park. He bringing the uh, <laughs> bringing her to the grocery store to work. Like I love that they literally did all the things that guys do. Like right. It with a baby, y'all cannot. Do that. But I I I have to give credit to Kevin Hart because you know. Sometimes people get um, typecasted into roles, and they only play this type of role. Yeah, and like the to see them play role. a role where it is an emotional pull, like you know, there, there's yeah. a lot of crying, a lot of emotional scenes. That good. that's great, and I think it kind of sh- gave us another side because I think yeah, I think he played the role well. I think any father could have played the role. Right, well. it gave us a sentimental side. Of right. him, I think me. any father who has a yeah. daughter could have played the role well. Mm-hmm. Not taking anything away from him. I'm just saying, if you have, you uh, could, you know, you could feel it. Like yeah. as a dad, yeah, like you could literally feel like it's uh, not acting when, for you. When, because, what happened? Yeah, I don't want to give away the movie, but what happened in the movie, you can literally feel it. Like you yeah. were sitting there, like wow, like whoa, whoa, whoa. Or you could feel his pain when when the baby wouldn't stop crying and he yeah. got to stay up all night. Right. Or the excitement whenever the baby was born and right. Or when the parents was trying to take the baby, and, like, and just the whole process of dating after yes. after you know a, a yeah. situation like that, you know yep. that's always been uh, that's always been crazy for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, I I to me honestly, and I don't know why I feel. I hope I, I, I'm not the only one, but I I feel like being a parent, a female, and having a kid, and then going having to start this new relationship. I truly feel like it'll is it, is a different type of worry when it's a man and he has the kids and he's trying to so it, it, find you, someone. You're saying it's different it's for women. to find a mom. You think it's easier for women to to date or find a new man, person yeah. when they have kids yes. versus a man by himself with his children with his and children having to time. find a woman. Yes. Mm. Possibly. I do. Nobody really think about but that. I don't know cuz I feel like the man would instantly get sympathy from like if, for example, if something happened, you got forbid, but and I had, I'm a single dad. Yeah, I think women would be like, oh, like let me help you, let me be that mother figure. You know what but, I'm saying? But but if you think about it, kids who are older, it's very hard for them to accept new moms. Oh, so you're saying even the kids too? Yeah, because okay, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. harder to it's. I believe it's easier to accept a man. So you just think overall, yeah, it's yeah. easier for for, for uh, women single to, single mothers to yeah. date. Versus, but I don't know because you know some kids could be extra protective over their mom and be like very like. Because even you, you said you was mean to your stepdaddy. Yeah, but I mean, I got over it. But I'm just saying, yeah, you're right. But like, maybe I'm thinking that usually women 
are the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the ones yeah. with the kids. So it's right. more. I just yeah. know. I just I just feel like that if when people see like if it's a, a legit a single father, yeah, like the, the women the, do sympathize. They sympathize. More. They love that. They love like, it more. That's that's but my only. That also makes you have to trust them. You know, right. make sure too because women just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, yeah, it's just it's very it's rare to me, especially around here. It's it's rare. It's very rare. Right. My mama's always there, you know. And and, and that's and, sad, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, <laughs> it's sad, really sad, but it's not sad. It's <laughs> sad, but it's it's like it's one of the saddest situations. But it's like it's sad, but women are so it. strong too. They are. Like, and yeah. I don't want to say they have, it's like one of the situations where they shouldn't have to be that strong, but like when I look at what my mama did and but like But to be honest, I feel did, like it's just something that they born with. Right. Like, you just born I mean, with something. Yeah, it's not, it's not right, but we do have to take more accountability. Because it is our, I mean. Before we, have, we yes, make kids. Right, because like, nobody, not nah, in certain sense. Yeah, certain yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not talking about this. But we just talking about yeah. natural, regular stuff. You do have a choice. We're talking about consensual sex. Yes. If you are having consensual sex. You, you should have, really be yes. holding each other. Like, before you have consensual sex, I would literally think of all the consequences. Right. Because you can't, after you have that now, you can't blame the other person yeah. now. Because you two, know it's a two-way yeah, yeah. two two, two street, two buddy. Street. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, let's go to my favorite <laughs> time. Oh, that's good. What? That's good. Okay. Yeah. So it's NBA playoffs, bro. Like I'm, I'm really let down, man. Kevin, Kevin Durant, bro. Like, yeah, no help. James Harden out there running around with a broke hamstring. Kyrie Irving hurt. I mean, he just got jumped. But I mean, he still had one of the greatest <laughs> games, greatest three games ever. One. Nobody's won yet, but oh. I mean, Kevin yeah, Durant I'll... lost. Yeah. Oh. Um, and that was my team, you know. Well, Kevin Durant's my player. I'm a Lakers fan, but. Yeah. I don't like LeBron, so I've been cheering for KD. <laughs> Is LeBron the mouth? He been gone. Uh, that's why my cousin quiet, huh? Yeah, but um, <laughs> right now, CP3 is left, and it'll be cool to see Chris Paul get a ring before he retired. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially that he started in New Orleans, like my home state, like yeah. his career started here. I was a fan of him when he first came, because like, that was the first time right. we were yes. relevant in basketball mm-hmm. for a while, you know, so... Yep. We had Chris Paul, I CP3, that. so uh, it'd be dope to see him win. It'd be dope. Even, um, I mean, Atlanta, I don't know. They're so young, but, I mean, it'll be good for the city of Atlanta. Like, I couldn't imagine, like, how crazy it would be to have a finals in Atlanta. But um, so, I don't care party. about Giannis Antetokounmpo. I, I, I'm not a fan of the Greek freak. Uh, he's just big. Just six eleven, like he has no skills. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, it's getting—it's almost football season. Is it? Yeah. Is that him that we saw in the airport? Remember we saw—I I don't know what it was. Whenever Major was little, remember? What? When Major was little. No. We saw that basketball so in the airport, player. We he saw, was gigantic. We saw Jaleel Okafor. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, he's six six eleven. Yeah. Yeah, why was he flying commercial? <laughs> he, like he was, was he was still playing yeah. for um I think he was playing for the Rockets then. No, he was playing for the Pelicans then. So I don't know why he was flying commercial. That's kind of weird. I mean, most some athletes do fly commercial, mm-hmm. but for the most part they fly private yeah. or they fly with the team plane. Like it was kind of weird seeing them. Maybe he had something to do. I don't yeah, know. maybe. But yeah, it's almost football season and basketball. You know, it's, it's almost over. So. Yeah. Boring. Your turn. I On the am. Clock. I am um, making a roast today, guys, and um, I'm very excited about it because I haven't had one in a while, and I literally do the same thing that my dad did. Jonathan, you stole your dad's recipe. Tell the truth. <laughs> I did it. I technically I never asked him. You're I just watched him and smell the food, taste it. Mm. See what it has in it. So yeah, it's similar. It might not be exactly stole, the same, but you stole that man recipe. He cook good. He's a good cook. That he is. <laughs> you stole the recipe though. Yeah, one time I tried to put lemons on top of my uh fish like he used to do and JT 
Yeah, it made lemonade <laughs> fish. JT was so mad. This girl tried, you put so many lemons on the fish, you really turn it into a lemonade <laughs> oh, <I can't>. fish <laughs> drink. The boy was so mad, y'all. That boy was so mad. Like, then it was, it literally <laughs> tasted like lemonade and fish. It was the worst thing in my life. <laughs> it wasn't that bad to me. I liked it because I like lemon. But I guess that is bias. I guess because I really like lemon. Right. Um, but it wasn't too good. It, it wasn't was too trash. hot. What else, man? But I pushed through. Up, man. I pushed through. Um, I'm on vacation this week, and I had planned to do something productive. So I've been writing a lot. Um... But I'm hoping to do some more things that's productive by Sunday to get out to you guys. Cool. Yeah. That's good. Well, it's been another Oh, one. sorry. We're potty training major. And guys, 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 guys. It's looking real two months ish. As in, I'm going to try two months later. Because, Lord and mercy. It's the second day. I'm just going to send child support. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's the second day, but Lord, y'all, this boy, it just is not clicking yet. And I know that you have to, this is a, a important thing for parents. You have to follow your child when it's potty train time. Because if they're not ready, they're not ready and you're just going to be stressed, you know? Yeah, they, so, they go, believe me, they go get yeah, potty training. You have to follow your child's lead in potty training because it's not your body. All right. <laughs> so, but yeah, so we might have to wait, guys, but that's it. Well, with that being said, oh, I always hit the wrong button. <laughs> so I hit the wrong button. To, I'm about to make you some little yeah, sticky uh, thing anyway, notes. Anyway, <laughs> guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode yes, of Pillow Talking yes. Podcast. And once again, what's up, new people? Yeah, shout out to all the new people, bro. Yeah, like, that was really cool. I've been telling people. Stuff is doing like, so good. That's oh how my you goodness. Do. You know you're doing good when the people you partner with, like, whoa. Like these analytics are amazing. Yeah. Like, but that was cool. Anyway, thank you. And they're black. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say that. I, know. I knew. I was just saying. That's that's hype right now. Black. On-